Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy, and we are discussing Benjamin Theorem. This is lecture number two. I hope you have already watched part one before watching this part two. And in this lecture, I am going to discuss about uh, some uh, more uh, expansion uh, in different form of binomial. Uh, let us write here uh, because as we have learned that binomial expansion is uh, x plus y equal to the power n is equal to x to the power n plus n c zero n c zero x to the power n. n c 0 x to the power n plus n c 1 x to the power n minus 1 y plus n c 2 x to the power n minus 2 y to the power 2 like that n c r x to the power n minus r y to the power r and n c n y to the power n. So if you put x is equal to 1 put x is equal to 1 and in place of y if I put here x then expansion will be like 1 plus x to the power n. In the similar way, we can write n c 0, 1 ka power n, 1 to the power n, that is 1, and n c 1, wherever x, that will be always written 1, because it is power whether n or n minus 1 or n minus 2, 1 to the power n, n minus 1, n minus 2, all these things are same. So there is no need to write this, and only terms of y to be written, so y plus n y is x na in place of y there is x so we write n plus 1 n c 1 x plus n c 2 x square plus n c 3 x q like this and here it will be also n c r x to the power r and n c n x to the power n now similarly if i put a uh, 1 in place of x there is minus x then alternate terms will be negative you know alternate terms will be negative so n c 0 minus n c 1 x plus n c 2 x square minus n c 3 x cube plus similarly minus 1 to the power r n c r x to the power r and uh, minus 1 to the power n n c n x to the power n that can be written so this is the one more type of expansion that you need to keep uh, in mind definitely it will be very useful and uh, now let us solve some questions on the basis of this how to deal with this uh, the what is the application of this all so let me try to write here so as we discuss uh, one to five questions in last lecture uh, from one to five has been already discussed now uh, here is a question from six it is written that using binomial theorem using binomial theorem binomial theorem theorem evaluate each of the following evaluate each of the following following right that you have to calculate here so how to deal with this there is a first question which is given here the very first question that is question number six one to five we have discussed question number six is there that 96 whole to the power three you have to calculate this so you can write this 96 as 100 minus 4 whole to the power three and using the binomial expansion we can write 3 c 0 100 to the power three minus 3 c 1 100 to the power two into four plus 3 c 2 100 to the power 1 and 4 square minus 3 c 3 4 to the power 3 isn't it so if we will calculate this then what will happen uh, this can be written as so it will be 96 whole to the power 3 is equal to 3 c 0 is 1 into 100 to the power 3 is 6 0 minus 3 c 1 is 3 and then there will be 4 0 and into 4 minus plus 3 c 2 is 3 into 100 into 64 16 4 square is 16 okay so that will be 16 minus 3 c 3 is 1 into 64 so positive terms are there 
and 16 page of 48, 4800. So 4800 that will be 1004800, right? And negative terms are, and this is 4, 3, 12, 12, 12, 12. So that will be answered. Uh, if you subtract them, this will be answered. Now the seventh question is there, and the seventh question they are giving here. In seventh question, uh, question is given here one zero two to the power five. So again, this can be written as one zero two is nothing else to the power five is hundred plus two whole to the power five, isn't it? So that can be written as further 5c0 100 to the power 5 plus 5c1 100 to the power 4 into 2 plus 5c2 100 to the power 3 into 4 2 square is 4 and now 105c3 100 to the power 2 into 8 plus 5c4 100 to the power 1 into 16 plus 5c5 32 2 to the power 5 that is 32. So what will happen finally this will be tan 0 plus 2 4 6 8 tan 0 plus 5 in 5c1 5 is 5 5 into 2 10 and here 8 and 1 9 0 so 2 4 6 8 9 0 again this is 10 5 c 2 is 10 multiply by 8 is 8 and this is 6 1 7 0 8 and this is 4 6 7 0 and this will be 10 10 multiply by 8 is 80 80 so it will be 8 1 0 is there and 4 0 from here so it will be 5 0 right it looks like here we and this is 5 16 5 10, 80 so 8 will come and 2 0 from here, so this will be 8,030. 5 C1 is 5, so that is 32. So if you add them all, you will get it 102 to the power 5 is equal to 11 one, 11 one, one, because there is a 10 0 and there is a 9 0. So this will be 11 one, one, and 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 0, 8. And now this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here 0 again and 8 there. And uh, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So again 1, 0 is left, 8 is there. And again, one zero is left and two is there. So that will be the answer of this question. So I hope you got it right now. Now question number eight. And question number eight is given here. This is similar like you can do that. This is 101 to the power 4. This can be written as 100 plus 1 to the power 4, isn't it? So that is 4C0, 100 to the power 4 plus 4C1. 100 to the power 3 plus 4c2 100 to the power 2 plus 4c3 4c3 100 to the power 1 plus 4c4 1 to the power 4 there is no need to write here right? it? so that will be nothing else 4c0 is 1 and 100 to the power 4 is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 4c1 is 4, 4 into, and this is how many? 6 zeros. So 2, 4, 6 zeros. 4c2 is 6, 6 into 4 zeros. And this is 4c3, that is 4 into 100, is 400. And this is 1. So if you add them, this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 1, 0, 4, and 0, and 6, no? And 0, and 4, and 0, and 1, that will be answered. 
this question. So I think uh, you got it. Now question number nine and question number nine is there and nine is also written like this 99 to the power 5. 99 to the power 5 that can be written as 100 minus 1 to the power 5 and so that can be written again 5 c 0 100 to the power 5 right minus 5 c 1 100 to the power 4 plus 5 c 2 100 to the power 3 minus 5 c 3 100 square plus 5 c 4 100 to the power 1 and minus 5 c 5 1 to the power 5 that is normally right 1 to the power 5. So here again you may calculate like this is 10 0 so it will be 0 0 0 0 0 0 6 3 10 0 and this is 5 and uh, 5 into 8 0 2 4 6 8 0 and this is 5 to the 5 c 2 is 10 and 6 0 from here so that will be 7 0 2 4 6 2 4 5 2 7 and 5 c 3 is 10 so this will be 5 0 10 right 5 c 4 is 5 so this will be 500 and 5 c 5 is 1 so we can sum up the positive terms first and then we have a negative terms so 500 and uh, there will be <coughs> 2, 4, 6, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. And uh, this 500. So how many? 2, 4, 4 in here. And then 500 minus this is uh, 5. And this will be 500. And 5000 this is 5 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 2 4 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 2 0 1 and uh, therefore this is a 2 0 2 2 4 1 5 so uh, 1 <coughs> this will need to be subtracted isn't it positive minus negative and that will come up now question number 10 is there using binomial extension using binomial theorem binomial theorem indicate which is greater indicate 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 which one is greater Which one, which number is integer, number is larger, which number is larger, which number is larger, larger, 1.1 1 .1 to the power 2, 4, 4 kilo, or 1000 right now. So 1000. So which one is larger? That you have to calculate out of 1000 and this. So we can write here the solution 1.1 1 .1 to the power 10,000 is equal to 1 plus 0 0.1 whole to the power 10,000. And that further can be written as 1 nc0 that can be written as nc0 plus nc1 n is what 10,000. So you can write it directly as well. Uh, 10,000 c0 plus 10,000 c1 and this is 0 0.1 plus 10,000 c2. 0 0.1 whole square plus like this. So this is 1. nc0 is 1 plus 10,000 c1 is 10,000 
right now. And this is 0.1 is multiplied by 1 by 2 plus 10,000 C2 um, into 1 by 100, right now. 1 by 10, the square is 1 by 100 and like that. So it will come like 0, 0 cancel. So this is 1000 plus 1, this is 1001, 1000 plus 1 is 1001, plus this will be something positive number, some positive numbers, plus some positive number, right now, positive numbers, because there after some number will come, so clearly it is greater than 1000. So of course, 1.1, therefore 1.1 to the power 10,000 is larger. I hope you got it. Okay. Now the next question is here and question is question number 11. 11 question is given here find a plus b to the power 4 minus a minus b to the power 4 and hence evaluate hence evaluate evaluate root 3 plus root 2 to the power 4 minus root 3 minus root 2 to the power 4 solution a plus b e to the power 4 is equal to 4c0 a to the power 4 plus 4c1 a to the power 3 b plus 4c2 a square b square plus 4c3 a b to the power 3 plus 4c4 b to the power 4. Now a minus b 4 to the power 4 is nothing else but 4c0 a to the power 4 minus 4c1 a to the power 3 b plus 4c2 a square b square minus 4c3 a to the a b to the power 3 plus 4c4 b to the power 4. Now subtracting these two, so therefore if I can write a plus b to the power 4 minus a minus b to the power 4 and subtracting this will there will be terms like this will be cancelled out. And subtracting these two you will get uh, the terms will cancel out. And here, uh, if you subtract, then sign will change here minus, this will be plus, this will be minus, this will be plus, and this will be minus. So, those who have a uh, same sign, they will cancel. So, even terms will cancel out. Right now, these two are cancels out, even terms are cancels out, and odd terms are left. So, 1 and 1, 2. So, there we go. this will be twice of 4C1. A Q B plus 4 C T A B Q. This is what left. So you write here 4 C1 is 4. A Q B plus 4 C3 is also 4 A B Q. And that further can be written as if you put 4 A B common, then it will be 8 times of A B or 8 times of A B. And what is left here? A square and B square. So, therefore, a plus b to the power 4 minus a minus b to the power 4 will be like this. Now, similarly, if I therefore, the question is given here that root 3 root 2 means in place of a, put a is equal to root 3 and b is equal to root 2. Then we have root 3. Then what will happen? Root 3 plus root 2 whole to the power 4 minus root 3 minus root 2 whole to the power 4 is equal to 8 times of root 3 into root 2 into root 3 square plus root 2 square. And that will come here 8 root 6 root 3 square is 3 and root 2 square is 2, 3 plus 2 5 and 5 is 40. So, 40 root 6 is answer of this question. So, I hope you got it. Right now. Now, the next question is similar type. 
let us solve question number question number 12 question number 12 is there and it is given that find x plus 1 to the power 6 plus x minus 1 to the power 6 and hence if otherwise hence or otherwise even with root 2 plus 1 to the power 6 minus root 2 minus 1 to the power 6. So by adding them uh, you will get twice of even powers. Uh, this is what we have discussed already but here because it is question so you need to write expansion once again. Here x plus 1 to the power 6 x plus 1 to the power 6 is equal to 6 c 0 x to the power 6 plus 6 c 1 x to the power 5 plus 6 c 2 x to the power 4 plus 6 c 3 x to the power 3 plus 6 c 4 x square plus 6 c 5 x plus 6 c 6 right ok. Now similarly if I will write here x minus 1 to the power 6 then that will be also 6 c 0 x to the power 6 minus 6 e 1 x to the power 5 alternate negative sign plus 6 e 2 x to the power 4 minus 6 e 3 x to the power 3 plus 6 e 4 x square minus 6 e 5 x minus plus 6 e 6 isn't it? So that will come. So using this adding these two so on adding you will get here adding you will get same on adding you will get here on adding you will get x plus 1 to the power 6 plus x minus 1 to the power 6 you will be here to see that this odd one is cancels out because one is positive one is negative so these are cancels out now it will left like twice of even 6 c 0 x to the power 6 plus 6 c 2 x to the power 4 plus 6 c 4 x square plus 6 6 6 right. So that will be twice of x to the power 6 plus 15 x to the power 4 plus 15 x square plus 1 isn't it. Now putting x is equal to root 2 and now put x is equal to root 2. So since since here what was the expression that is x plus 1 to the power 6 plus x minus 1 to the power 6 is equal to twice of what is coming here if you multiply by 2 x to the power 6 x to the power 6 plus 15 x to the power 4 plus 15 x square plus 1 then put x is equal to root 2, x is equal to we have, we get. This will be here root 2 plus 1 to the power 6 plus root 2 minus 1 to the power 6 is equal to twice of root 2 to the power 6 plus 15 into root 2 to the power 4 plus 15 into root 2 to the square plus 1, isn't it? And now this will come here 2 and 2 2, 2 to the power 3 is 8, right now that is 15 into 4 plus 15 into 2 plus 1. So that will be 60 plus 30, 90 plus 8, 98 into 199, 2 into 99, that is 198, and that will be answered this question. So I hope you got it. Now question number 13 and 13 question is given here that uh, so that so that 9 to the power n plus 1 minus 8 n minus 9 is divisible by 64 is divisible by 64 right whenever n is a positive integer. 
whenever n is a positive integer positive integer right so how to deal with this question let us see this question can be solved by using the fact that uh, a solution 9 n plus 1 minus k 10 minus 9 so we can start from here only right now 9 to the power n plus 1 that can be written as 1 plus k to the power n plus 1 now expanding as per binomial so we have n plus 1 c 0 plus n plus 1 c 1 8 plus n plus 1 c 2 n plus 1 c 2 8 square plus n plus 1 c 3 8 cube right now, till n plus 1 c n plus 1 8 to the power n plus 1 isn't it now we can take here uh, right this one also that uh, this will be n c 0 is 1 so n plus 1 c 0 is also 1 n plus 1 c 1 is n plus 1 into 8 plus n plus 1 c 2 64 or 8 square even you can write just 8 square um, 8 square this is 8 n plus 1 c 3 n plus 1 c 3 8 q n plus like this n plus 1 c n plus 1 8 to the power n plus 1 i hope you got it now if i would like uh, right here this will be 8 n plus 8 8 n plus 9 isn't it 8 n plus 9 plus if i took 8 square common from this all what will happen 8 square if i take common then this will be n plus 1 c 2 plus n plus 1 c 3 into 1 8 will be left because 8 square has been kept in common and here n plus 1 c n plus 1 8 to the power n minus 1 will left because 2 power is being taken from now at this side there was 9 to the power n plus 1 so this employee 9 to the power n plus 1 minus 8 n minus 9 is equal to 64 into this would be a positive something some positive quantity some positive quantity right so 64 is a factor right now this has 64 is a factor and therefore clearly clearly 9 to the power n plus 1 minus 8 n minus 9 has 64 as a factor right and hence it is given by 60 hence it is divisible by 64 right now there is one more question and this question is question number 14 and let me write uh, this question number 14 on next page question number 14 is there and question number 14 is given like question number 14 prove that prove that sigma r is equal to 0 to n 3 to the power r n c r is equal to 4 to the power n so lhs of this can be written as sigma r is equal to 0 to n n c r 3 to the power r if i put value of r from 0 to n you will get here n c 0 3 to the power 0 plus n c 1 3 to the power 1 plus n c 2 3 to the power 2 plus n c 3 to the power 3 right now till n c n 3 to the power n comparing with we know this is a we know we can write we know the expansion that 
nc0 plus nc1x plus nc2x square up to ncn h to the power n is nothing else but 1 plus h to the power n. So in place of x, you know, in place of x there is 3 only. Have you seen that? Right now? In place of x there is 3 in this expansion. Right now? In place of x there is 3. Here we can write nc0 h to the power 0 because h to the power 0 is 1. So in place of x here, there is an x and there is an 3. In x square, there is a 3 square. Right now, x to the power n, 3 to the power n is there. So comparing with this, from using this, we can write this 1 plus 3 to the power n and that is 4 to the power n, which is RHS and that is root. Right now, so we can use this right now. And if you use this, you will get the answer of this question that is 4 to the power n. Put x equal to what I did here? Put x equal to 3. Put x equal to 3. We get this. So 1 plus 3 to the power n. That is 4 to the power n, and this has to be true. So hopefully you got all these things, all these questions are clear, and uh, we will discuss more about parallel theorem in next class till then bye bye god bless keep watching and don't forget to subscribe this channel please okay thank you